Indian Rasada, Manchi Kome Anya. The ICC T20 World Cup 2021 is just around the corner. And so we thought of taking you on a nostalgic journey through the top five most memorable knocks by Sri Lankans in the previous tournaments. But before we look at the list proper, here are a few notable mentions. Chamar Kapugadara 16 ball 37 to knock India out of the 2010 T20 World Cup. Sangakkara's lone fight in the 2009 World T20 final against Pakistan, where he scored an unbeaten 64 or 52 balls. Jehan Mubarak's quick fire 46 off just 13 deliveries against Kenya during the inaugural T20 World Cup. Moving on to the top five. The first on our list is won by Angelo Matthews. Semi-finals are sometimes the toughest games in any World Cup. Angelo Matthews walked out to bat at a critical moment during Sri Lanka's semi-final against West Indies in the 2014 tournament. The Lankans were tottering at 91 for 4 in the 14th over. He put up a 30-run partnership with Lahiru Thirimana in the next 21 deliveries. Until Thirimana's wicket fell, Matthews had scored only 9 of 10. By the end of the 18th over, Matthews was on 13 of 14 and Sri Lanka were 128 for 5. He then stepped on the gas, carting Krishmar Santoki for 17 runs in the penultimate over and smacking 15 off the last over from Andre Russell to take Sri Lanka to a match-winning 160 in their 20 overs. Sri Lanka were in a bit of trouble on 41 for 2 when Kumar Sangakkara came into bat, chasing India's 130. Sanga was quick to bring out his sweep against the spinners, smashing Ravindra Jadeja and Amit Mishra to unsettle India's key weapons. He stepped out for anything given a bit of air, rushed to the back foot for the flatter ones and anything beyond just short and outside off, he went down on one knee and carved them over the infield with that iconic cover drive. He didn't get a single over of pace on a damp sherry bangla surface, yet made the chase look ever so easy to earn Sri Lanka its only T20 World Cup title. There's a thing from your country that I'm totally hooked on, and I am not talking about your tea. Lanka Tiles, designed for you, desired by the world. The Master Blaster massacred the Kenyans with a dashing 88 runs off just 44 deliveries. He helped Sri Lanka post a mammoth total of 260 runs, which still is the highest total in T20 World Cups. Sanat smashed four sixers and 11 boundaries in that spectacular innings. The stylish left-hander struck 61 runs off Lamek Onyango, which was the most runs conceded by a bowler in T20 World Cups back then, but was soon renewed by Jai Surya himself as he leaked 64 runs to Pakistan in that same tournament. In a group stage game against the host nation West Indies at Bridgetown, Mahela Jawadana amassed 98 runs in just 56 deliveries. Mahela opened the batting for Sri Lanka and carried his bat through with ease. It was a crafty knock from the right-hander who had no hesitation whatsoever in taking risks. He kept dancing around the crease and sending the ball in directions. Sri Lanka posted 195 runs in the game and won it by 57 runs. Yes, it's the West Indies again and a semi-final too. TM Dilshan and Sanat Jayasuriya posted a 73-run opening stand in the first 10 overs. Jayasuriya departed in the 11th over, Kumar Sangakkara went back a ball later and Mahel Jawadana fell in the next over. All of a sudden, Sri Lanka were in trouble at 77 for 3 at the end of the 12th over. And Dilshan stood up to carry them through. A usually daring batsman, Dilshan, only hit two sixers in this knock. He didn't try his scoop shot or anything cheeky as he ended with 96 runs to his name. The rest of the batsmen collectively scored only 56 runs while Dilshan more or less single-handedly took Sri Lanka to a World Cup final. What do you think will make it to this list during the 2021 T20 World Cup? Let us know in the comment section below. Stay on the ball with the Papere Sports News Alerts. Don't miss out on what's happening in the world of sport. Type sports and send to 678 to register. 30 rupees per month. Conditions apply.